So my name is Panos Anastasiades. I'm a uh, professor of cancer biology and chair of the Department of Cancer Biology in Mayo Clinic of Florida. Uh, our study is about uh, tumorigenesis, the basic mechanism by which cancer cells become malignant. Uh, we have found a new uh, mechanism by which normal cells undergo this transition to become tumorigenic. This, uh, this study is going to be published in Nature Cell Biology, uh, one of the premier journals uh, in, the, in the field. And it's uh, important because it's going to change the way that we think about cancer progression. For years, we have been studying adhesion molecules. Adhesion molecules, everybody thought, were acting as a glue that holds the cells together. But uh, it was becoming clear, uh, probably about 10 years ago, that they having other very important roles, especially signaling roles. And they're playing an important role when they're deregulated in driving tumorigenesis. Uh, when you have a biopsy that is seen by a pathologist, and the way that they determine that there is cancer is by looking at the cell shape. Cancer cells have an irregular shape, so we know that there's defects in adhesion molecules that are causing this. So that was the initial um, impetus for the study. What we found is that the adhesion molecules are forming very specific structures that are uh, connecting the cells and they're signaling through molecules that are called microRNAs. Those microRNAs uh, signal in a way that uh, uh, regulates a whole program that drives cell growth. In normal cells, cell growth is inhibited when the cells come together. So the adhesion molecules regulate, regulate microRNAs and inhibit cell growth. What we found is the cancer cells, this is deregulated, and the microRNAs are not regulated anymore and as a result, the cancer cells uh, grow uncontrollably. So we have identified two key components of this adhesion structures. One seems to be uh, a protumorigenic component, one that is driving uh, tumor progression and growth, and the other that is acting as a break, that's uh, basically inhibiting it. We have also looked at human tumor samples, and we have found that the break is miss missing in the vast majority of these cancers. So what, what we see in cancer patients is that we have a lot of the gas, but we have no break. So that drives tumor, tumor progression and cell growth. We also have found that by regulating these microRNAs that are deregulated, by giving them back into the cancer cells, we can effectively reprogram them to become and behave as normal. So we can take very aggressive tumor cells that are growing and, and migrating, replenish them with the microRNAs that are, that are deregulated, and that effectively turns them into normal cells. So not only does this study bring two different uh, uh, research fields together, the cell adhesion and the microRNA biology field, which up to now were totally separate, uh, so in, in the research field, that's very important. We're, we're bringing two fields that were proper, proper, uh, you know, that were not related before. Now we're bringing them together. I think for therapy, it's very important because it shows us the way that we can turn cancer cells back to a more normal state. And uh, the challenge will be now to find delivery methods to normalize this. Uh, this microRNAs, which, which act as the programming step. You know, they regulate the expression of many genes and they regulate a program of cell growth. So the challenge will be to identify ways that we can reverse them. Uh, the other thing is a lot of people uh, have biopsies and we have question about whether they have cancer or not. You know, it's, uh, they're premalignant lesions that people have. So what uh, we can do is we believe that deregulation of this particular adhesion uh, signaling is going to be consistent with cancer. So we believe that we'll have a diagnostic that very easily can tell you if a lesion, a biopsy, is actually a cancerous or not uh, lesion.